All right, so we are in Glen Allen. Welcome to today's video, which I have no idea what it is just yet. I'm thinking we're going to head down to Valdez. I'm trying to find a B&B because I can't sleep in the truck again. I need a shower and I need a bunch of stuff. And here comes the military to come arrest me for all the stuff that I've done wrong in my life. Seriously, what is this, The Walking Dead? What's going on here? Before I think about going to Valdez, you gotta eat something. And if you're in Glen Allen and you don't eat at Ernesto's, you're missing out big time. On to Valdez it is, it's been decided. Aren't you excited? As soon as I shut this camera off, she's going to shoot me. Listen, I'm just going to keep it rolling the whole time here, okay? I'm going to visit. You guys want the GoPro? I'm kind of tired of the GoPro. I got a feeling it's going to get annoying to edit. I'll do it, but it's going to be annoying. stop just to go pee reminded me of the three sister mountain from uh from kodiak it's kind of cool anyway we're just gonna keep going This is Thompson Pass, just outside of Valdez here. I did end up getting some drone footage. It is a little windy out. It's okay right now, but I did get some drone footage and uh, just absolutely gorgeous place. I would walk around a little bit, but Angelica's just not feeling good after her surgery. So just gonna rely on some drone footage for more of the shots. And uh, it's a beautiful drive. Um, some clouds. I, I like clouds in my photos, so I'm okay with that. They actually got snow here a couple weeks ago, and it's June. They got it in like June 3rd or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful mountain peaks. They're really, really pretty. Alright, standing at Bridal Veil Falls here just outside of Valdez. It's hard to talk outside with all these vehicles going by. I like the fact that this waterfall is off the road so I can easily get photos of it, but also it's right off the road so it's hard to get videos of it. But probably the prettiest waterfall in the state that I've seen anyway. Really gorgeous. There's another one up the road here, but I don't even know if I'll stop for it. Not a big fan of that one. Well, it's okay, but yeah, I don't know. 
All right, guys. As you can see, we made it into our six-star hotel. This place is really nice. It doesn't have bed bugs that I have seen just yet. So um, we're in Valdez. We're gonna go find somewhere to eat, but it's hot in this room, so we're gonna go sit in the truck and cool down and figure out where we're gonna go after that. Not every day you see a uh, bunny just walking across the street, but this is Valdez, I guess. Um, <clears throat> just ate at the Fat Mermaid, uh, pretty good. I wouldn't say it's worth driving out here for it, but... Oh look, there's another one. If you're here, it's not terrible. Bunnies are everywhere. What the heck is going on here? Pretty mountains behind me though. It is a uh, pretty warm night, so we decided to get some ice cream. I think it's like 49 degrees, so... Definitely an ice cream kind of night, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna eat that. We had to go back to the truck and get cash, because it was cash only. So, all right, ice cream looks good there. All right, we got the uh, ice cream in the bag. Angelica really ate a lot of hers. Unbelievable. Look, I didn't even touch mine yet. Just kidding, I've been helping her. Check this out. This is in Valdez. This is called a glacier lake. Just Google Valdez Glacier Lake. It'll take you right here down the airport road. Super beautiful. Just a bunch of glaciers just floating in the water. So yeah, it's like a pretty blue, nice reflection. Probably could walk over there a little bit. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, mosquitoes are bad though. Oh, you know like when there are a lot of mosquitoes in the air? And it's just, they just give you the chills when they, ugh. I hate that. It's already cold enough. <sighs> Alright guys, check out these cloudy mountains behind me. Really cool. Um, leaving Valdez now. Che just checked out. Worst sleep I've had in... I think I slept better in the truck the past few nights. It was just so hot in there. I was dying. I woke up like 10 times. I was dying. But, uh, we're going to head all the way to Homer today. At least that's the plan. We'll see. It's kind of... Kind of cloudy out, so I might just book it.
All right, I was trying to keep uh, this drive moving along pretty quick. A lot of stuff wasn't super photogenic. Some of the stuff I wanted was kind of covered by clouds, but I definitely had to stop here. This is King Mountain. Gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. Um, I, I got to stop here every time, get some photos. This is a great place, I think, to do some portraits. I'm going to go ask Angelica if she wants to take a photo of me because I already have her photo here. She's going to be like, nah, I don't want to, but I think I'll do mine. All right, we just stopped in Hatcher Pass. We were just here a few months ago in the winter time. It was really, really cool up here. Went blind, snow blindness, because it, it was just so bright from all the snow. Just got a couple pictures. I wanted to see what it looked like when it was green. We got to get off this mountain kind of quickly because not only are we in a time crunch to go to Homer, but with her ear surgery, this is like 3,500 feet up there. So I think it's like 3,200 right here. We'll come back again and explore this in another video. It looks so hikeable and everything. Really, really pretty spot. I like it. I think it looks a little better in the snow. The snow, the red and the white looks really good. It still looks good with the green. Just different. Cool day for it because of the fog and everything. But we'll just have to go another time. Alrighty, check out this sunset. Came out really nice, and we just got past Cooper Landing, and we're gonna head out to bed soon. Alright guys, check it out. We just went to the Salty Dog, and uh, if you go to Homer, you gotta stop in there. Just a little bar there. It's pretty cool in there. It's your typical like dive bar kind of thing, but it's pretty pretty cool pretty unique but uh i'm gonna end this vlog here thanks for watching like and subscribe to the channel it's been a long drive for like 1600 miles on this trip so i'm tired and i'm just ready to get on the, the ferry and head head home see the boys we gotta see the boys and anyway thanks a lot guys take care